You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days fans, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition spoilers for Monday, January 29th through Friday, February 2nd. I've got a couple of juicy early spoilers for every day of next week. I'm so excited to unpack these for you. There's big action. You guys are going to be so excited. If you've not, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And as I always do on early edition spoilers, spoiler videos. I give you a super fast rundown of what's happening the rest of this week in Salem, just to give you some context for the next week spoilers. So let's jump right in. Wednesday, January 24th, Teresa Donovan is packing her bags. She's so embarrassed that Alex walked in on her kissing Brady. I mean, it's more than that. She's also embarrassed about all the terrible things she's done in the past few months. But Alex Kiriakis wants her to stay, takes her to bed. And guess what? She decides to stick around. But he may regret that sooner rather than later. Harris Michaels is back from his prison chat with Clyde that made him so angry. And he gives Rafe and Jada an update on the things that Clyde said and basically how he pretty much confessed to having Lucas Horton beaten in prison. So this is going to be an unpleasant update. Eric stuns Sloan when he mentions, oh, by the way, Leo Stark is stopping by later. You know, she doesn't want to see Leo at all. I'm sure he's going to drop by and just say the usual thing he says every week. Give back that baby. And Brady Black gets a chance to see Rachel Black, and he's so excited to make it up to her and to play nice with Kristen as well. So that'll be something sweet to see midweek. Then on Thursday, January 25th on Days, we've got scavenger hunt slash geocaching. This to me is so weird, and I'm actually going to be watching with a magnifying glass on Thursday because I'm a geocacher and people who are geocachers do not take lightly to people poo-pooing or, you know, I don't know, maligning our hobby. It's a nerd hobby. I will tell you that, but it also gets you outdoors hiking and there's geocaches. There are little hidden treasure boxes. There's not always really treasure in them, but there's a log you sign. Basically it gets you outside. It gets you moving, but there's some literally underwater on mountaintops on the space station. They're all over the place and it's really fun, but I just have a feeling they're not going to be doing it right because scavenger hunt is not quite the right word for it. We'll see. Wendy Tripp and Stephanie are working together. I'm, I'm holding my breath for this. Everett threatens to quit if Chad doesn't stop trying to silence the press and play dirty to help his family. And Johnny and Chanel are there as Paulina needs support. And Ava and Stefan are at the Salem Police Department getting grilled by Harris and Rafe. It sounds like they suspect but have no proof that they're involved in the drug trade. And I just don't think either one of them is going to confess. We're going to close down the week on Friday, January 26th. Xander and Sarah are making out, and it looks like they're going to take it to the bedroom. Everett says he's finally ready to come clean to Stephanie, but I don't know if he's going to come clean about everything. Meanwhile, Jada talks to Stephanie and Rafe more about her ex-husband who up and ghosted her, you know, Bobby, Bobby who looks just like Everett. So maybe he's a twin. Maybe he's really nice. I don't know. He had those weird headaches, so... I couldn't even get to tell you. And Teresa is really trying to avoid Kayla. So we'll see why next week. Picking up the week of of January 29th through February 2nd. The most important thing to know about this coming week ahead is that Thursday and Friday are the first two days of February sweeps. That is important to know because we're going to see big traction and action on your front burner storyline. So let's jump right in. I have a couple of spoilers for you. Early treats for next week. So on Monday the 29th, we have Everett and Stephanie continuing their conversation from Friday, where he is confessing something to her. Something. I don't know if he's going to confess everything, but I'm very interested in what he has to say. 
Also on Monday, we have Kate telling Roman she is so worried about Lucas Horton. After this beating, she feels like Clyde might come back for him and that he's still in danger, but it's not clear what they can do for him. Although if the police get some evidence, then they should be able to get him out. But that doesn't mean he'll be safe from Clyde even then. I mean, think about that because Clyde's been able to get to trip to scare the crap out of Ava. So Lucas just being out of jail, I mean, I don't know. Next, we have Tuesday, January 30th. And so it looks like Stephanie, I don't know if she winds up staying the night because one of the spoilers says that Leo Stark sees Stephanie leaving Everett's room at the Salem Inn. Now that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Not really because they're both single and they have been kind of low key dating, but you know, maybe it's only important because Leo tells Chad and maybe it looks like a walk of shame. We'll see again, not that it's Chad's business, but Leo, does to drop a little like to do his little blind items like the naked judge that they were talking about so maybe he's going to do a blind item about them that gets Chad's gears grinding also that same day we have Paulina at the hospital in an absolute panic and she surprises Sarah Horton well you know Sarah told her they were going to try and get her surgery done in the next few days maybe she has some kind of crisis You know, she is having those issues. I don't know if nodules can burst, something like that. We'll see. Midweek is Wednesday, January 31st, and we've got Alex slinging accusations at Brady Black. He says he thinks that he still wants Teresa. I don't think Brady was wanting Teresa before, but after the lip lock, maybe he is now. Maybe it's a valid accusation. We also have Johnny asking Chad to be his best man at his Valentine's Day wedding, which will hit right in the middle of sweeps. Then, speaking of sweeps, Thursday, February 1st kicks them off, and we've got Sloan and Eric. They're trying to hit the sheets. They're trying to get busy, but interruptions keep plaguing them. They are not happy about that. Lucas feels like he is painted into a corner, and he thinks some publicity might help him out of his bind. So he asked Chad and Everett to do an interview for The Spectator. Friday, February 2nd, we have Stefan and Ava feeling a little little frustrated in the downstairs pants area. So I don't know if they're going to cross lines. You know, Stefan did tell Gabby that they're pretending to have an affair to cover up for what's going on. But if it's a real affair, Gabby's going to cut off his junk when she gets out. Xander and Sarah wind up on an awkward double dinner date with Constantine Melionis and Maggie Horton as the week closes down. All right, that is everything that we have for the early edition spoilers. Please drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Definitely click subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon. I'm here talking days with you guys every single day of the week. As always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 